Hello and welcome to Smart Quiz Builder. My name is Veena Prashant. I'm the creator of this plugin. Smart Quiz Builder is the world's best quiz and survey plugin for WordPress. Today, I'll take you behind the scenes to show you how you can use SQB to create five different types of pop-ups. SQB supports exit intent pop-up, where you can have the quiz or survey or just a simple opt-in form show up when users are leaving a specific page on your site. You can just let SQB know on what pages or what posts on your site you want the pop-up to show up when users are leaving and SQB will automatically show that quiz, that survey, or that opt-in form on those pages when users are leaving uh, your site. You can also use SQB to configure a scroll-based pop-up. So say that users are on a specific page on your site, and you don't want to show the pop-up as soon as they land on your site, but only if they have scrolled down a specific amount. So say that you want to display your quiz, your survey, or your opt-in form when users have scrolled down, say 75% of a specific page, you can do this. Now, if you want SQB to display the pop-up, but only after users have spent a certain amount of time on a specific page, you can do time-based pop-up. And also you can use SQB to display a button click pop-up, which is when users go to your site, they will see a button that says, take this quiz or take this survey or sign up here, or get instant access, whatever the case may be. When users click on it, if you want to display your quiz, your survey, or just a simple opt-in form, when users click the button, you can do button click pop-up. And another type of pop-up SQB supports is a corner pop-up. What this means is say that you want to display a pop-up when users visit a specific page, but you want it to be a non-intrusive pop-up, you want it to pop up from the right corner side of your page, you can do that too. You can configure SQB to display your quiz, your survey, your opt-in form as a side corner pop-up. So now let me take you behind the scenes to show you how easy it is to create different types of pop-ups using SQB and how you can easily switch from one pop-up type to another with a click of a button. Let's take a look. So this is the SQB Manage Quizzes page. I'm gonna click on Add a New Quiz and select Create from Scratch. If you want to use a pre-built quiz template, you can select this one. If you want to import a quiz, you can select this option. I'm going to select Create from Scratch. All right, give your quiz a name, descriptions. So I'm just going to say Get Instant Access. I'm gonna have a button on the side. When users click on the button, I want to show a few questions and then the opt-in form. And there are six different type of quizzes or surveys you can create using SQB, a personality quiz, assessment, scoring quiz, survey, calculator, and just a standard opt-in form. So if you do not want a quiz, you do not want to ask any questions, but just want users to opt in, you can use the form option. I'm going to select personality quiz here. Display settings, show the quiz in a pop-up or in page. I'm going to select pop-up. You can see there are five options here. Button click is where users will see a button when they land on the site, when they land on the page where you have configured it. And when they click on it, it's going to show the quiz in a pop-up, all right? But they have to click the button to see it. If you want that set up, select the first option. Exit intent pop-up is where uh, it will be displayed when users are leaving a specific page. And time on page is where it shows up after a certain amount of time has elapsed. You can configure the time here. Percent of page scroll, scroll-based pop-up and corner pop-up where it will show up on the right corner uh, of your uh, page where you have configured it. All right, so let's start with button click. Show start screen or button. So this is a button pop-up quiz where I want to show a button. Users click the button, then they will see the quiz in a pop-up. So that's my setting. Yes, I want to show this. Lead generation. Yes, I want to display an opt-in form. I want to display the opt-in form after all the questions. Otherwise, you can use this option. I want to display opt-in before the questions, but in my case, I want to show it after the questions. And connect with your platform. SQB connects with pretty much all uh, popular email platforms. SQB also connects with automation platforms such as Zapier, Integrately, Public Connect, all of these. And SQB can also add users directly to your Google spreadsheet. You don't even have to use an automation platform to do that. You can directly connect it and see this documentation on how this works. SQB also supports webhooks where you can send information to any third-party site as long as you have your own webhook handler. All right, so I'm going to just use the default options here and go ahead and select template one for this quiz. So this is a start screen and here you can see this is a button because it's a button pop-up. So it's going to show the button instead of a big screen. If you want to switch to a screen, you can do this, but in this case, we want to display a button. When users click the button, they're going to see the pop-up. I want it to say, get instant access. You can change the text to whatever you want. You can change the color. There is a button customizer right here. Now this is the outcome screen. You can add as many outcomes as you want. 
outcome that the users are going to see is based on their answer choices. So because it's a personality quiz, you need to create your outcomes first. Now this is just a demo quiz, so I'm just going to call it outcome one. And here you can update the content, you can increase the height of the continue button. If you don't want a continue button, you can just turn it off, save outcome. And I'm just going to clone this. And I have the next outcome, outcome number two. And again, I'm not going to add real content here. This is just for demo, but you can create as many outcomes as you want. So when you're creating a personality quiz, the main thing is to first create all the outcomes, figure out what is it that users are going to see? What results are your users are going to see? Create those buckets, create those uh, groups first and create your outcomes first and then create your questions so that it can lead them uh, to the right outcome, right? Your questions and your answers should be designed to uh, categorize users and to move them to the right bucket based on their answers. So you need to create your buckets first, which is this one, and then you can go ahead and create your questions. And here you can assign different tags based on their outcome type. You, SQB will send it to your email platform and uh, set redirect rule if you want to bypass the outcome screen and directly send them to a thank you page on your site, you can do that too. So users sign up through the pop-up and after they answer the last question, they opt in. You want to send them directly to a thank you page on your site or to an upsell page on your site, just enter the URL here and based on the outcome, it will send them to the right landing page on your site. All right, so let's go ahead and add some questions. So add a question. This is the default question screen. And here I'm going to just hide this image and you can add your question here. So this is my question. How did you hear about us? And these are the answer options. I'm gonna add an option called other. And for the other option, I want to enable this option, show other. So users can enter uh, whatever they want to enter about uh, the other option. Okay, so in the text there, I wanted to say the placeholder text, how did you hear about us? So if they select other, then they can enter the text there. Now this is a personality quiz, so you can map your answer choices to the right outcome. This way when users pick an answer choice, SQB will assign a point to the right outcome and at the end, whichever outcome has the most points will be their outcome type. But this question does not help me decide their outcome. This is just for informational purpose, so skip mapping. That's why I have skipped mapping here for this question. So now let's go ahead and add more questions. So depending on whatever problem you solve and whatever outcome type bucket that you want to add them to, add the, ask the right questions. So for example, list building, right? So in the outcome, my first outcome, I would have said list building. The second one is traffic. So you can create an outcome that says traffic. And so now, based on their answers, you can assign them to the right bucket. So you can add an outcome for each one of your answer choices or you can have multiple answer choices all leading to the same outcome. You can connect more than one answer choice to the same outcome. And here again, you can add an other option if they want to input their answer. And uh, here I'm gonna say connect to outcome because this will help me decide what bucket to assign them to. I only have two buckets right now because this is just a demo quiz. Now list building, I'm gonna assign them here. Traffic, I'm gonna assign them to this. Conversion, this bucket. Now again, this is just a demo quiz, so ignore what I'm doing here. This is just made up. All right, so I only have two questions here. The quiz will end after two questions. This is the opt-in form. And again, all this is fully customizable. You can add custom fields as well if you want. I'm gonna just change the color here. That's it. Save and next. And that's it, all right? So now I have this short code. Wherever you publish the short code, this button is going to show up. I'm gonna change the color of this button to match the opt-in color. Save it. All right, so this is a page in WordPress. I've entered my short code right here. I have published this page. Let me show you how it looks like in the front end. All right, so this is the front end. When users click the button, they're going to see the quiz or the survey in a pop-up. And I just have two questions in this uh, demo quiz. How did you hear about us? If users select the other option, you can see it shows up uh, this text area. And here they can select the other option where they can say where they heard about you. And what is your main challenge? So here, these were the options I added. And so say that they select list building. Now it shows the opt-in form and it should send me to the outcome screen. This is the outcome screen. Your result type is list building. Again, this is just a demo quiz, I made it up. But this is how it works and it's how easy it is to create a pop-up based quiz or survey on your site and SQB will automatically add users to your email platform, whatever it is that you pick here. Even if you don't add users to an external email platform, in SQB reports page, you will find all the leads, all the users that were added to a specific quiz. You can select the quiz here. 
You can select the date range here and you will find all the users. I just completed the quiz, view results, and you can see it will show you the answers the user selected. First answer, Facebook group, other selection. Second answer was list building. And there is another cool option here, search analytics, where you can select your quiz. So if you want to see how many people selected list building as their main challenge, then you can select list building as the answer choice and you can see how many users pick list building as the answer choice. All right, so there is all of these detailed analytics. So you can do so much more with your data that you get from SQB. You can also export the list. And not just this, you can go to the settings page, notifications tab, if you want to receive an email when uh, users complete the quiz, here you can see admin notification. There's also a student notification where you can say if it's a personality quiz, I want to send an email to my students uh, and I want to send them the results. So now what we'll do is we will simply switch the quiz to an exit intent quiz, which means it's going to show up when users are leaving a specific page. So I'm going to go ahead and edit the same quiz. All right, so all you have to do if you want to switch from a button click pop-up to an exit pop-up is go to display settings of your quiz or your survey and switch your pop-up type to exit pop-up. And after you switch, you can see now it says select pages or posts where this pop-up will be displayed. So you can select the page where you want to show this pop-up. All right, so say that these are the pages where I want to show this uh, pop-up. I still have the same two questions and lead generation. So let's go ahead and see how it works. All right, so this is the page where it's active. As users are leaving, you can see it pops up, right? Because it's an exit intent pop-up. As users are leaving the page, you can see this pop-up will show up. And now it's the same one, except now it's an exit pop-up. So there was no start button here. Users can opt in and they will be sent to the outcome screen or the result screen, wherever you want to send them. Really simple, right? So here you can go back here. And if you do not want to display it on these pages, you can go back to the display settings unselect the pages where you don't want to show it and it will go away, right? So this is how exit pop-up works. So now let me show you time on page in seconds. So you can select this option. So same quiz, I have just switched it to time on page in seconds. And I want uh, the quiz or the survey to show up when users have spent seven seconds on the current page, on the configured page, it'll show up after seven seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the same page here, but this time it'll show up, not when users are leaving the site, but after they have spent seven seconds, all right? Go ahead and save and everything else is the same. Same setting, no difference, no change. In the short codes tab, you can see it says this pop-up will be displayed seven seconds after the page loads. So let's go ahead and visit this page. Here's the page and uh, it will show up in a few seconds. As you can see, it shows up after seven seconds. Now let's say percent of page scrolled. You can select the page and say that you want to display it after they scroll 80% of a specific page. Uh, this is my Smart Quiz Builder site. You say that I wanted the pop-up to show here, somewhere here when they are near the pricing table. Then all I have to do is adjust this here, settings page in the display settings. I'm going to switch this to say 89%. I'm not sure if it is 89% or not. We'll have to test it. But I'm going to go ahead and save it. All right, so back on the home page, I'm going to keep scrolling down. Now it shows up near the pricing area, right? So when users have scrolled down up to the pricing uh, section, then it's going to show up. As you can see, it's a really powerful feature. And if you just want a standard form and you don't want a big quiz, you can do that too. Let me quickly show you a regular form without a quiz. Click on add a new quiz, create from scratch. So say that it's a membership planning worksheet. That's my freebie and I want to give them access to it as they are leaving. I'm going to select form. This is just going to be a simple opt-in form, no questions, no quiz. I just want to replace my form builder with this. And I'm going to say, here it says entry pop-up, exit pop-up. So I'm going to display it as an exit pop-up and lead generation. Uh, this is how it looks. If you want this uh, image, you can use it, but this is a form-based pop-up, right? Only an opt-in form will show up. You can upload a different image if you want. Save and next. And it's going to show this thank you message. If you don't want this thank you screen, you don't need uh, to use it. You can uh, redirect users to a page on your site after they opt in. And that's it, all right? This is an exit intent pop-up and you can update the pages here. So we have not selected the page list where they should be displayed. So here I'm gonna select this page. I want it to show up as an exit intent pop-up on this page, all right? So I have selected the page now. So this is where my exit intent pop-up is active. So let's go ahead and try to leave. That's it, all right? So now this is just a form. Get started, users will see the thank you screen and done. Users will be added to your email platform. If you use DAP, which is our membership plugin, 
uh, then users will be added to your product and app. You can do that too, all right? So you can use it just as a free sign-up form and select the product to which you want to give them access. If it's an entry pop, for example, uh, where it shows up as soon as users enter your site or enter a specific page, then you can select entry pop and select the page. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to publish the short code anywhere. For all of these four types of pop-ups, there's no publishing of short code required. All you have to do is select the page or post where you want to display it. But if it's a button click, you do need to uh, enter the short code wherever you want the button to show up. That's it, all right? So as you can see, you can easily replace your form builders with Smart Quiz Builder, even if you don't have a quiz or survey, if you just have a static opt-in form. I don't recommend that, by the way. I would highly recommend that even if you have an opt-in form, uh, first, always ask a few questions. This way you will start collecting information about your prospects, about your users, so you can serve them better because you will know them better. Smart Quiz Builder is easily the world's best quiz and survey plugin for WordPress. If you have any questions, please do let me know. If you have Smart Quiz Builder on your site and if you like it, we also offer an affiliate program. Be sure to check that out. If you go to smartquizbuilder.com and click on affiliates, you can learn all about our affiliate program. You can earn commissions. You can confidently promote SQB knowing that uh, it's not only already the most powerful quiz and survey platform for WordPress, but also we are not done yet. We are continually improving it. We are constantly adding new features to make it even better. My name is Veena Prashant. Thank you so much for making the time to watch this video. I'll be back soon with more. Bye for now.